what is going on and welcome back. I hope you guys, as always, are having the best day ever. Before I get started, guys, if you are new here, please subscribe. If you haven't already done that, we're on the road to 63,000 subscribers and I would love you to join me on this journey. So hit subscribe right now and join the fam. First of all, I want to apologize. I am still not feeling good. I think yesterday was just like, um, it was like a false hope. I, I felt better. I, w I felt crappy the day before, then I felt better yesterday, and now I just, I've gone back to square one. But I promised you guys I was going to do a video <clears throat> talking about the creepy emails that I get, um, and that I'm going to do. But yeah, guys, bear with me. Um, I'm still feeling pretty crappy, pretty weak, tired, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I'll try and do my best to entertain you guys today. All right, guys, so as I said yesterday in my Paranormal America um, video on Pennsylvania, I said that I've been getting a lot of creepy emails, and if you guys want, I'll do a video talking about the emails and reading them to you guys, um, see what you guys think. Um, and a lot of you guys were down for that, thought it was a good idea, so I'm going to do that for you guys. I am going to warn you, though, some of them are pretty long, so I'm going to have to keep that in mind. Um, I just try and read them really fast i don't want to waste time i don't want to bore you guys and also if you guys haven't followed me on my social media i have facebook twitter instagram and snapchat links are all in the description go follow me on everything all right email number one is from a girl that says miss tina yak and the the subject of the email says i need your help beloved let me first introduce myself to you i'm a citizen of sudan but currently staying in Burkina Faso. I think that's how you pronounce it. My, my name is Princess Tina Yak. Princess Tina Yak. 24 years old, originated from Sudan. I got your email address prof slash profile through the internet search when I was searching for a good and trustworthy person who will help me in clearing my inheritance fund for, my, for invest investment purposes. I believe that it is better we get to know each other better and trust each other because I believe any good relationship will only last if it is built on trust and, and truth and real love. My father, Dr. Justin Yak Arup, was the former minister of SPLA affairs and special advisor for, and special advisor to President Salva Kerr, or Kyer, of South Sudan for decentralization. My father, Dr. Justin Yak, and my mother included, including other top military officers and top government officials have been on board when the plane crashed, had been on board when the plane crashed of Friday, May 2nd, 2008. You can read more about the crash th through the link below. And obviously there's a link. After the burial of my father, my uncles, cons my uncles conspired and sold my father's properties to a Chinese expat expatriate um and live nothing for her, and left nothing for me i'm assuming she means it says she put and live nothing for me obviously she doesn't speak much english so i'm struggling that's why um on a, on a faithful morning i opened my father's briefcase and found the documents which he has which he have deposited huge amount of money in one bank in burkina faso with my name as the next of can i traveled to Burkino Faso with, to withdraw the money so I can start a better life and take care of myself. On my arrival, the branch manager of the bank, whom I met in person, told me that my father's instruct instruction to the bank was the money to be released to me only when I am married or present a trustee who will help me invest my money overseas. I have chosen to contact you after my prayers. I believe that you will not betray my trust, but rather take me as your own sister. Though you may wonder why I so soon re I am revealing myself to you without knowing you, well, I will say that my mind convinced me that you are the true person to help. More so, I would like to disclose much to you if you can help me to relocate to your country because my uncle has threatened to assassinate me. Assassinate me? The amount is $5.1 million. I'm assuming this is US dollars. And I have confirmed the bank in Burkino, Burkina Faso. You will also help me to place the money in a more profitable business venture in your country. However, you will be help. You will help by recommending a nice university in your country, so that I can complete my studies. It is my intention to compensate you with 30% of the total money of your services for your services, and the balance shall be my capital in your establishment. As soon as I receive your interest in helping, I will put I will put things into action immediately. 
In the light of the above, I shall appreciate an urgent message indicating your ability and willingness to handle this transaction sincerely. Please do keep this only to yourself. Sincerely yours, Princess Tina Yuck. That's a freaking sketch, man. That's I'm not screwing around with anything like this. I don't want to be getting I don't want to be getting killed, manhunted. Whoa. What she think I am? Just a second, guys. I got a lot of emails. I just gotta try and find the creepy ones. Okay, here we have an email from Mr. Peter Sands. Dearest, I am Mr. Peter Sands from UK London. I'm the group executive di director group financial director of Standard Chartered Bank PLC UK. I seek your assistance to receive this fund sum of seven million five hundred thousand pounds in your account, £7,500,000. If you are interested to execute this with me, I have all it will take to move this fund to any of your account designate as a contract fund to avoid every query by the authority in your country. <laughs> For security reasons, contact me with this email, at this email. My present internet connection is very slow in case you receive my email in your spam copy this email ID to reply to me and then basically he wants my private email my age country my phone number um, and he's waiting for my response mr. Peter Sands everybody now we got one from Wang Hong Wang Hong from China says greetings this is an official request for professional consultants who will stand as our regional representative to run logistics on behalf of oh man Xinyu Iron and Steel. Okay, this is just we're we are searching for a payment collection agent in Canada and USA. Salary 10% of every payment you receive from our customers. Get back to us with information below. Basically, they want all my stuff, my details, name, bank details. What the heck, guys? Now this is where it got pretty weird. Major Dennis Hornbeck, I am in the military unit here in Afghanistan. We have some amount of funds we want to move out of the country. My partners and I need a good partner, someone we can trust. It is risk-free and legal. Reply to this email. Major Hornbeck, you don't think I'm going to fall for that, do you? And here we have one from Sharida Almahadi. I don't know how you pronounce this stuff, guys. Hello, how are you doing? Hope fine. My name is Miss Sharida. I'm really interested to know more about you. After reading your profile on Facebook, but unfortunately I don't have a Facebook profile that's set to public anyway. But unfortunately I'm not always online here, so I will be glad if you write me back through my private email address so I can write you and tell you more about myself because there is something I would like to share with you. Take care and lots of love. May the Lord bless you as I wait to hear from you. I already know what you want, and it's not happening. You either want to send me some money, or marry me. Mr. Ibrahimi Ali. Dear friend, I know that this mail will come to you as a surprise, as we have never met before. But you need not worry, as I am contacting you independently of my investigation, and no one is informed of this communication. Hi, Ryan. I see what he did there. I need your urgent assistance to transfer the sum of $11.3 million immediately to your private account. The money has been in our in our bank lying dormant for years without anybody coming for the claim of it. I want to release the money to you as the re relative of our deceased customer, um, the account owner in the brackets, who died along with her supposed next of kin since January, January 3rd, 31st. 2004. The banking laws here does not allow such money to stay more than 13 years because the money will be recalled to the bank treasury accounts as unclaimed funds. By indicating your interest, I will send you the full details on how the business will work. Send your data, your name, your country, your age, your occupation, your phone number. Please respond urgently and delete if you are not interested. Regards, Mr. Ibrahimi Ali. Major Dennis Hornbeck. That emailed me again. We want to get this money out the country, but we need your help. Ah, uh, I'm stupid, but I'm not that stupid. Mr. Musar Pascal. Hi, I am Mr. Muscal. Mr. Mr. Muscal. Mr. Pascal Musar. 
He, got, he said his name the wrong way around. Auditing and accounting section. I got your email address through the internet and um, blah, 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 blah. It's the same old stuff, guys. They literally want my name, address, phone number, sex, age. Oh my God, they want sex? I ain't doing that. Occupation, country name, your scan copy of your passport. This is freaking crazy. So they can send me $6.5 million. Now, a lot of these are just robotic and a lot of them are just spam and a lot of them are obviously hackers overseas. But I also get emails from like Mina Tramini, who, who's like, hi, I'm looking for American citizen to marry me so I can live in America. Please email me back. And I got tons of those too. Like people want to marry me, like girls, and they're like, it's what the weird part is. Some of them are like, "Hi, I am Princess Freaking Mini Yiki Huna. I am 12 years old, and I'm looking for American husband so I can live in America." And it's freaking crazy. Now, obviously, I don't reply to any of these. I just completely ignore them. But some of the stories, like the the, the stories. Somebody actually has to sit there and write these stories and it's legit freaking insane like somebody sitting there like how can we make these Western people believe our story how can we make it sound legit like obviously we're not that stupid nobody's gonna fall for that so they but the fact that they're sitting there and they're you know working this story out so they can email it to people um, somebody had to have sat there and typed that up and like the first one about the girl who missed Tina, um, Princess Tina Yak. That was freaking weird. Like her, her dad assassinated, her dad and her mom were killed in a plane crash. Then her uncle tried to assassinate her because she, she had money. And now she wants to leave. She wants to go to America. She wants to, um, go to university and she wants to marry me and all this kind of stuff. It's freaking insane. Like, I don't know. I don't know. As for the other one with Major Dennis Beck, Hornbeck, um, somebody's like sitting there right now and wants it to make us believe us the victims of these scams us believe that there is genuinely a, uh the people out there in afghanistan right now in the military and they are having a problem they're stuck and they need to get these funds out of the country so anybody who was like younger like a kid who's like 12 13 and loves like war movies and stuff like that they're gonna be like, oh, I could help these guys out. I could, uh, and you know, it, it's dangerous, man. It's dangerous out there. So if anybody reading, um, anybody out there gets any of these emails, any of you guys, uh, whether you're older, because I know some older people don't really understand about spam and stuff. Some people believe everything they see. Um, and kids too. Kids, don't go falling for this. Completely ignore them. In fact, don't click on any links. Don't open the email. If you see anything like that, just delete it. It's very very dangerous um and it could get you in a lot of trouble but yeah guys i could go on the reason i want to cut it here is because the battery is running low and the emails are super long i can only get like a couple in a normal sized video so i'm going to cut this video here um but yeah i have tons of them there's all different stories for all different ones like um there's like nigerian prince uh like a nigerian prince wants to send me money and stuff like that it's freaking crazy man but um yeah let me know what you guys what's the weirdest question of the day okay let me know what you guys think of these kind of emails and let me know what is the creepiest, weirdest email you have ever had. That is question of the day. Also, slap a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Let's see if we can go for 5 million likes on this video. I would really appreciate that. And remember the most important thing, guys. Chase your dreams. I love you guys.